Netherlands, June 18, 1815, the Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon Louis Bonaparte, always a person of honor, which takes you when Napoleon Bonaparte was acting crazy that the rest of Europe was driving him nuts. Yeah, all you got is that scary big bunny with those eyebrows and the bushy mustache. What a grump! Here in Belgium, Napoleon found himself pitted against Anglo-Dutch forces commanded by the British Duke of Wellington. If that madman attacks before I finish my morning tea, I'll just scream. Frankly, he's been a pain in my derriere for years. And so, there you have it. Napoleon Louis Bonaparte knows that he was at the outside of the battlefield. So Toast want to see Loud Kittyton as Napoleon Louis Bonaparte and Steeberg at Waterloo. Now to plan strategies in war, a general must mount his steed and survey the battlefield. For Napoleon at Waterloo, this was not possible. Now, the pain in my belly, yeah! Captain Dude, the weather just got nasty. Oh, sorry about that, great con, dude. We got a little distracted. Cha! Why didn't you say so, man? Here! Yeah, dude, it's bright out. If they were smart, they'd be wearing sunglasses. You're not trying to rip her off now, are you, dude? Cuz, nothing personal, but if I saw a picture of you in a spandex bikini, check it out! You are They're still pretty far away. Wow! I see anything. Did you get a photo of me in action? Don't be scared, Fang. It's just lightning. It only hurts golfers. Ah. Two of these strangers helping you to come over here at the Battle of Waterloo. That's his bike! Hello, Mr. Cat. Catfish. Cat. I'm Mona. This here? is Charlie, your greatest fan, and also a fearless daredevil like yourself. Excellent. Name's Toast. All right. Now, you see, I want to get my wheels retrofitted for the 1902 Extreme Games. I think what Charlie's trying to say is, hello, pleased to meet you. And he'd like for you to sign his autograph book. Ready, Charlie? Ready! Like I was arrested for having bad manners, which is a very serious offense in Aztec society. Larry H. Patoltec managed to get me sold into slavery. Thanksgiving dinner is served. Like in the commercial with the dirt gremlins. Dishwashing liquid will get the job done. And I thought you only promised because you didn't want me to worry. Thanks, Mona. Thank you very much for letting me giving you my autograph while you two are here. You are our greatest fans of them all. That looks very amazing. No problem. After all, that is what all the fans want you to do. Anyway, how could you write your white hearse name Sheen with your telescope? And hereafter, I was using my telescope to look at Lad Kiddington writing his white hearse name Steeber, fighting the British exterminators. Never thought I'd see that. You are using the telescope to look for the boy and his white hearse. That was so cool. Come on, Charlie. Up on my horse named Sheen while I'm using the telescope. Let's ride around the battlefield. Okay. I can climb on it. I hop on it. Now I'm gonna ride a horse with you. I am ready to ride with you together. So hop uh, in, man. Great! Catfish is gonna be so impressed. Catfish? Catfish Rebel, the man with nine lives. My hero, the world's greatest stuntman. I'm sure you've heard of him. Look at it this way, dudes. A leopard, bro. Still really far away. Don't worry, Pop. I guess I'm just a chip off the old block. This has been Bill Straitman. Happy trails!